in this video i wanted to give a quick introduction to the system the quran revision system using srs the space repetition system as well as to give you a few links that i found beneficial uh, and, and a little bit of intro into the process i use for memorization and revision let's start with the overview of the system this system for example as of now uh, it shows today uh, today 12th of March, the due pages that are there. By default, the system has 10 entries and it orders them in the order of the pages so that you can move through the pages. You can increase them to a higher number of pages. So you can see I have 13 pages which are due today. And the first thing to note is um, when the pages are coming due. So for example, zero means it can do it today and minus one means it was due yesterday so it is so if i kind of click on this so these are the four pages that came due yesterday but i did not complete the revision hence it is uh, uh, doing it this way so i can come back to this so let's understand these uh, numbers what they are so that you have an idea so last touch is when was the last revision for example i can see this item was the latest you know 7th march and it, it goes on and then here it is sorting by month it's not the perfect sorting but yeah so you can get an idea 28 february uh, when it was done um, because i'm displaying only part of it it is not perfect and then here is the most important thing the interval interval so the system basically takes the data that you are entering the line and the word mistakes i'll explain what they are and tries to figure out a way after how many days you should review this for example, so this page, page number 47, um, I have only one revision and I got zero mistakes. You can see, uh, so that means, so the page is being scheduled after three days. This is the normal behavior. So if you do um, zero mistakes and then the page will come after three days. So again, if you do zero mistakes, then it would be three plus three, which will come after six days. If you again do after six days when it is tested, again do zero mistakes, then it will come after plus three, which is nine days. This is how it keeps on increasing the schedule. So let's assume the page is coming after an interval of 30 days. You have done about 10 revisions because each time it goes and all perfect. Now you start to make one mistake. Then depending on whether it's a line mistake or the word mistake, either the interval will stay the same or will reduce or increase so this is where i want to introduce the concept of line and the word mistake so if i go to this page for example i click on this page so this is where i enter the revision data so if if it's an existing page this table tells you the same detail you have seen in the previous page we have had two revisions in the last revision i had one word mistakes so and then one score so each word mistake gives you like a score of one, which is actually minus one. But here just I, I got rid of minus and it is showing just one. If you make a line mistake, it's equivalent to four minus four. So that's how uh, the system works. And then this one I touched last on 7th March. So uh, today seven plus five is 12, which is what here. So the system is coming today uh, on 5th. So you have two types of mistakes, word mistakes and line mistakes. So if you don't enter anything and just click on update, it will put 0, 0 there. So for a perfect page, you can just say update and it will go to the next page. So let me explain what these uh, mistakes types are. So word mistakes, as I said, is one point. What is a word mistake? You forget a word or you change the grammatical ending of the word, for example, from whom to uh, uh, kum or from, you know, so the... So these are the typical mistakes I've made. Uh, I've seen made by my children as well as uh, I, I make them too. If you know grammar, most of the time these errors don't come. But even there, there are possibilities. There are some uh, difficult uh, verses in the Quran where even if you know grammar, unless you are very mindful, you could make this mistake. Or you switch one word with another word or you add extra word because it, it came in another part of the verse. All of this is a word mistake. So if I have to show you an example here, here. So if you focus on on the first page, wa bashiril aud billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa bashiril ladina amanu wa amilu salihat lahum jannatun tajri min tahtihi mul anhar. So intentionally I made a number of mistakes. So first I dropped the word anna. 
then in, uh, instead of jannatin i said jannatun a second word mistake tajri min tahtihi mul anha which is the third word mistake so you can see the variety of mistakes i have made um, i can like another is just missing a word kullama ruziku min samaratin so i miss the word minha um, so you can add a word so these are all the different type of mistakes so why do these mistakes come they come because in different parts of the quran for example there is min tahti himul anhar there there is also only one if i remember correctly um, there is tahtahal anhar so these are variations in the quran uh, so that when we memorize and as well as recite we should be much more mindful um, uh, so so that's that's the word mistakes so the second type of mistake is a line mistake so here uh, i am giving four points that means so if you have a part of the line that you have forgotten and it it is four words then you should consider that as a line mistake so now the real line mistakes what's a line mistake so this is the part that actually shows the page is becoming weaker because i have been experimenting with this system a lot so at some point i need to reduce the interval so line mistakes start coming the interval starts getting affected um, so this is showing the weakening of the page so for example i forgot one aya so this could happen because the memorization was weak uh, many a times i've seen this uh, especially when children memorize they don't know what the next uh, aya is and then the parent or the teacher just gives a clue and then they are able to pick up um, to me this is a weak weak memorization aspect so when you are on your own for example reciting your salah or tarawih you will you will make this mistake so you will forget so you need to link the verses much more uh, thoroughly so in my case so this means you forgot so if you cannot uh, start the next ayah that means you forgot an entire ayah and then let's say you are in half the page let's say here um, and i i came here and then i don't know this alladina yankuduna and i don't remember any of the next verses that means all of these lines should be counted as mistakes so for example starting here it's one uh, so it's three uh, words so we can drop so one two three four five six word line mistakes i will say so that's how i look at it so are you uh, forget part of uh, the aya for example you can say yudillu bihi kathira wa yahdi bihi kathira and then you drop this and then you move on from bihada uh, masala to wama yudillu bihi illal fasiqin so you part of uh, an aya is missed here it's more than four words so it would be one line mistake so this is the second type of uh, line mistake the third is the important part mutashabihat so even when you have a strong memorization but you have similar verses that are coming in two different parts of the quran you could uh, make a mistake for example here is one that is uh, there in the earlier pages itself alladhi ja'ala lakumul arda firashan wa samaa'a bina'an wa anzala minas samaa'i ma'an fa akhraja bihi minath thamarati rizqan lakum the re reason i read up to here because in other parts of the quran alladhi ja'ala lakumul arda qararan wa samaa'a bina'an wa sawwarakum it goes or wa anzala minas samaa'i ma'an fa akhrajna bihi min kulli thamarat or fa akhrajna bihi minath thamarati mukhtalifun mukhtalifan alwan there there are many many variations here um, so this this is the kind of mutashabihat that comes whenever mutashabihat comes you have to uh, look at both the verses side by side or one after another to ensure where they are coming what's the difference and then revise both of them so that the brain is not basically one is not interfering with another and then overwriting this this is the more damaging aspect of the memorization when a mutashabihat comes if you get one part right the other part will get weakened because this is getting stronger so each time uh, this this could happen so when so this so for example i i i mix this up with instead of firash and i went to qarar and which is occurring in in later part of the quran so then i would uh, uh, attribute it to this whole uh, for example it's 1 2 3 and part of this this i will ignore this i will ignore like two lines of uh, mistakes that's how i would calculate the mistakes so with that so i if i come back here so i can enter uh, you can use this to enter also uh, you know so or you can just enter from the keyboard for example i had three uh, word mistakes and six line mistakes something like this yeah 
So just to show you uh, how things work, for example, here, if this is the kind of mistake you can see, the interval is 5. Um, I, I will show it to you here. So now it goes to the next page in the line automatically. From that page, it goes uh, to page 9. If you go back here, this is the page 9. It just goes in order. So if you want to see um, the, the last page, uh, page number here, this is a box that can be used for entering new page, which I will explain first. Then I will explain how to see the, the calculations the system is doing through this, uh, pay, uh, this box itself. So for example, if you are going through the Quran in order one page by one page, let's say here I am trying to enter page number 58 into the new system. This is where I stopped. So if I click here, enter new page, so I don't have any revision, so the box is not there. Now I can enter. The advantage is, so if I enter this, for example, I say I word, made one, two word mistakes only, I press update, it will go to the next page automatically, right? So let's say I have no mistakes here, I go, I did two pages today. Now let's say I go back to the due pages. The helpful thing is it remembers this page number so that you can go back and improve this. It can be used for two aspects. One, when you are doing uh, like one by one uh, new page into the system. Or suppose you do what we call daur in the madrasa system, a cyclical revision after one juice, you want to revise the whole juice or whole bakara. Um, so then you can enter the first part and then it will remember the next, next, next and you can go through, which is in addition to this random revision, which is based on a scheduling concept. So now how do I see, if you remember the previous page I did revision was 37. So if I enter this, uh, it will show me the interval from 5 if you remember i made six line mistakes and three word mistakes yeah um, so from five it has come to zero it has reduced it that means it will become due uh, uh, essentially today itself since i've revised uh, uh, just this so it is showing it will be due in one day which is tomorrow yeah so last touch is today so it will be uh, due in the future so let's go back to look at just another page if you don't press update here, it, uh, it will not remember this 37. So if I go back here, it will still retain that 60. So it's a nice shortcut. Suppose I take a, a page which has a good revision. Let's say page number this 464. It has seven revisions and very rare mistakes. Let's say I just make uh, two word mistakes. I press update. Remember this page number is 464. So update and uh, it is going to the next page in the sequence which is the first page itself um, the page was 464 so i am going to enter this and it would show me i made uh, two mistakes and the last touch was 12 um, so the interval was uh, 26 right um, so previously it was 25 now it has gone to one it got increased by one so when you make word mistakes the interval keeps on increasing though at a slower rate when you make line mistakes, if you forget one line interval stays the same. If you make more, it keeps coming down. Uh, if you forget half the page, it, it comes down drastically so that you could get more revisions. So th that's all in terms of uh, the system itself. So you, you, you could, for example, search also. I mean, it's not very helpful, but it, you could, for example, look at some of these pages. And the page works nicely on the, on the phone also. I have been pretty much using it on the phone itself. So just one thing to remember, so this new page is, is uh, remembered for each session. That means on the computer it's a different session, on the phone it's a different session. So you can set it to another number, for example, I go to 120 and if I do enter something here, for example, just say I entered here, it will go to 121 and now it will remember 121. So if you have to change it, you just have to press submit once and then it will record that as the next page and this will help you. So a few of the things, when you make a mistake, how do you correct? So this is the method, I've, I've tried a lot of different things. This is the best uh, method. So it is there, the link is there in my article also. Uh, this is a 10x method. Um, so this I've used it and it, it works wonderfully well. When to correct the mistakes also do the same thing. 10x means you make 10 times uh, the correction. If you forgot one part, one word, just take a few more words before and after and repeat them 10 times. If you forgot uh, the two connections between ayah, take the previous ayah and the next, the, the current ayah you've forgotten and do them together. If the previous ayah is very long, maybe just a part of it. 
the whole idea is do the 10x uh, you know so they apart from just doing other things uh, trying to associate in terms of meanings and the location and all that these are the typical techniques so here are two uh, sites that i would recommend so in terms of the translation itself if you are a beginner if you do not understand grammar i recommend sahi international um, for advanced students of english as well as advanced students of grammar uh, in arabic i would recommend abdul halim uh, which uses a slightly higher form of english dr mustafa khatab sometimes gives very nice uh, translations for the verses other uh, translations do not give that much a clear picture so i use all the three so if you are new to the quran if you do not know the grammar that well i would recommend you you do all the three these are available in the standard apps like android quran on the phone and, and if, if this does not give you a page by page thing so it has so you have settings here you can look at some of the so it has all the new translations nice translations and the other site that i have used for many many years is this tanzil this gives you a page wise thing for example i can go to that 464 sorry for uh, 64 page previously and then if i hover over this it gives me the the translation itself um so this is good if you are on the move and you do not have the uh, quran with you and this does not have the mustafa khatab kind of translation the best it has out of the three that i recommended is sahi international itself um so and and so that that's what i would recommend focus on uh, the meaning focus on understanding while you are memorizing whenever you make a mistake uh, have a fixed time in which you review uh, the mistakes of the previous day and and then you are doing the correction um, use the pages you have memorized in salah this is the process i use for example whenever i go into the salah uh, on my own for example sunnah salah and uh, nafil i pick up one or two pages Uh, for example 9 and 24 and then i recite them in the sala one page per raka or half page per raka and once i am done i come back take the mushaf either on the phone or the real mushaf uh, and then i check the mistakes then i come back into the system i enter it this is how it works and this is how so the more you recite in the sala with understanding your love of the quran will increase and the, as the interval becomes stronger and str- like longer and longer the joy of actually recalling you, this would be a wonderful experience may allah give it to you as he has given it to me also before we close just one point uh, if you have not uh, gotten this and and if there is something that you should not forget it is this point when a page becomes due you should recite it from memory and you should not see the page in the quran first in the madrasa system before we tell the teacher we revise the page by seeing and then we go to the teacher for example if i am going to listen to a certain page for my son uh, he is going to revise this first and then come to me but in our system the key and the magic is the blind recall so we are trying to recall without seeing this is what is building the the circuit in our brain to recall so as the pay, like a page takes more and more time to come back as the interval is increasing the strength of the recall becomes more if you see and then uh, do the page uh, it, the whole system effectively is is destroyed so remember this so when you see the page number then you should recall so the difficulty you might face would can be for example when i see page number 9 how do i know what is the first verse of the page number 9 so for this aspect maybe you can see in the in the future versions of the uh, system i can add the starting aya itself um i have used a concept called memory palace uh, which i am not going to cover today to build this link but for now i think you can you can see but apart from seeing the beginning verse um you should not see anything else and take it as a challenge if, especially if you are in the early stages of the memorization see whether you can link the page to the beginning of the verse so when you see 9 you can actually uh, recall the the beginning verse itself with that i i leave you to try this system may allah give you success and more importantly uh, istikama which is basically a consistency uh, in 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 memorizing and not dropping in the way